living out in the suburbs of Long Island, there were a lot of musicians in my neighborhood, uh, John Petrucci being one of them. And uh, we all just kind of forming bands. A good friend of mine that lived two doors down needed a bass player. At the time I was playing violin and it had four strings, so I said, okay, I should be able to figure it out. And I went to a local flea market and found a bass and started playing it. One thing led to another and it just became like the best idea. Live music was really kind of, really happening. Uh, the club circuit was really happening at the time. There was just, it was just a lot of bands playing and and that became like the, our elder peers and stuff. That was like the thing to do on the weekends to go out and check out live acts. Their record collections would sort of spill over into my friends' record collections, and then we'd start hanging out with them on the weekends and getting turned on to all sorts of great music. Rush, you know, Yes, Iron Maiden, ELP, and discovering all these amazing bands. And it just seemed impossible for something like this to be so good and for it to sound so good. I don't remember exactly what year I started playing the Cobalts, but when they were brought to my attention and and after I tried them it just seemed like a really comfortable string like I've never played. It felt more connective to my fingers. There was like a connectivity there that I didn't have with the other strings. The sound is, is amazing. They sound great. I guess it's sort of that connectivity that it has where it makes a difference now whether or not you play right under the fret or right below it. All of that sort of feels more comfortable to play, and I feel like I play better as a result. When I have an idea, when, when I'm playing something that sort of moves me inside, there's this like, this quiet satisfaction of, wow, this, this could be really really good. I feel like this is a strong idea and, and hopefully um, it will spark a song. But those moments are few and far between in comparison to the, the amount of time spent warming up and, and just playing. Your creative aspect of your mind tends to turn on at these brief moments where all of a sudden everything is great. And, and when that happens, hit record. And, and try to capture it. It's the best time to record something when it's happening. Music is defining time with, with emotions, with notes. Depending on what it is that you want to do musically will determine what you practice, I don't think practice necessarily means studying theory books and all that. You know, a pra practice is, to me, just time spent with the instrument and in however which way you choose to spend it. It depends on what the agenda is. You know, when, if you have a set of songs that you have to learn and know where the problem areas are and I isolate those so that they're in proper playing form, but just just practicing it and being in tune with the instrument and having my hands be in tune are just a big part of my daily regimen. Just sort of physically connecting with the instrument. Because, uh, what's that saying? If you don't use it, you lose it. It's so true. If I don't put the time in to kind of get my hands in, in the zone and stuff, I can't feel comfortable behind it.
terms of when do I feel most creative, it can happen anytime during sound check, when I'm on the tour bus or when I'm in a hotel room. It can happen anywhere where you're holding your instrument. And the other side is when you're actually together in a studio or in a rehearsal facility with, with everyone there and, and you're playing stuff and experimenting with, with effects and different tunings and, and, and finding, you know, finding ideas that way too. There are things that happen when you're all together in a room. I don't know, there's a certain energy, there's a certain vibe. Bass to me is, it's the frequency that I identify with most. I enjoy the challenge it presents. I enjoy the process of what I have to do to prepare my hands to play the way I want to play. And also, I don't know, I guess when I listen to music, it's sort of like what I focus on too. You know, I, I tend to listen to the bass line.